These women are causing heads to turn across North America, and they're doing it in a most unlikely way. They're members of the new skids on the block, Montreal's elite roller derby team. The women on this team have big dreams. Right now, the new skids are ranked 12th in the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, or WUFDA. And that's not bad. But they're all aiming to go to the top of the North American League, and that puts them in competition with 109 teams across the continent. Montreal's a fantastic team. They're amazing. Um, I feel like for us, it's almost a bit of an honor to play against them. I could see them probably by the end of the summer being in the top four in the East. Five years ago, when the league started, it was unthinkable to expect the new skids to be one of the top teams in North America. First of all, when we started, um, there was about 14 of us that really s stuck around. Um, half of us didn't know how to skate. So we learned how to skate, and then we, were, we had no clue how roller derby was played, so we basically printed the rule set and we're like, let's try this out, and we were trying out stuff, and we didn't really know what we were doing. We'd show up and then kind of come up with drills on the spot and be like, oh, so what do we do now, and chat about it, and now we're a lot more organized. <laughs> So how is roller derby played? A derby bout is divided into two-minute rounds called jams. Each team selects a jammer who wears a star on her helmet. Points are scored when the jammer laps the members of the opposing team. The rest of the players form the pack to block the other team's jammer and clear the way for their own. At any time, the lead jammer can call off the jam by tapping her hips, ending the round and starting a new jam. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for some more roller derby? This version of roller derby is a far cry from what it used to be. Sue Thomas, number two, leading the charge out there for the Canadians back in this Canadian lineup. Derby's heyday was in the 70s and had a lot in common with pro wrestling. Highly choreographed moments on the track, and over-the-top personalities. At their home games, the new skids are announced by Plastic Patrick, a man who needs no introduction. Um, when we started, it was, you know, it was all foul-mouthed, you know, look at her, she better get her, kill her, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I, I think naturally we all just evolved into a, you know, a serious game, but in a fun environment. There's still some of the theatrics, some of the partying, but a lot of that kind of, uh, kind of took the sidelines and now we're really focused. I mean, we were there to play a sport and now we're even more into the sport and more serious about it. We train four to five times a week and like some of us train to the, in the gym outside of practice and we're like, we're, we consider ourselves athletes. We really take it seriously and we're trying to bring it to another level. The biggest things is just their passion. I mean, they all love roller derby. They all dedicate themselves to come here three, four nights a week. Uh, they all get together one night a week to just practice off skates together. I work 40 hours a week, but the rest of my free time, that's what I do. That's the only thing I do. Whatever social life you had before Derby really gets transformed. You start, to, because you start to spend so much time at Derby, it becomes such a huge part of your life. And, but it's, I mean, it's not unfortunate. You know, that sounds kind of shitty, the way that you kind of drop your other life for this new Derby life, but it's, it's, um, I mean, it's great. It's rich and there's amazing, there's such amazing women. You know, sports is almost an addiction just like drugs. And I don't want to say that this is, this is like a drug addiction, but I mean, for a lot of them, like, they know the girls that they, they're on the team with and, like, their bond is, it's absolutely amazing. And, like, so their addiction to this sport has, you know, become like a family to them. Alyssa Kwasny, a.k.a. Georgia W. Tush, know something about devoting her life to roller derby. I'm the founder of Montreal Roller Derby. We founded in April 2006 and five years later I own a roller skate business. Her shop called Neon Skates supplies equipment and expertise to more than 20 teams across Eastern Canada. Roller derby is her life and she wouldn't have it any other way. 
I, th I feel like being a part of the roller derby sisterhood is like a big gang of weirdos. Like you have, you could go anywhere in the world and you'll meet people that get it, that are also part of this big weirdness and um, they're part of something that's taken over their lives as well. So I think that's pretty neat. By day, Marie Chantal Trashy, aka Trash and Smash, works with at-risk youth. She says Derby gave her life the grounding it needed. I don't really want to think about it, honestly, because before I, I started Derby, I partied a lot and I wasn't really working. I went back to school. Like, I changed pretty much everything, but I don't, I don't know where I'd be, but it wouldn't be as good as where I am now. I think... I think when I started, I, I just kind of felt a bit lost in Montreal because I'm from Thunder Bay. I was really involved with, with stuff there. And then I moved here. I was going to school and I didn't really have anything to do other than go to shows. So it almost gave me more of a sense of purpose in Montreal rather than just going to school and getting drunk. Heather Godso, a.k.a. the Dame of Doom, is a university student and a rookie with the New Skids. She has yet to play in an official match but she is dedicating her life to Derby. I was planning on going to Teachers College and PEI after I finished school here, and I decided to scratch that and do something else instead so that I can stay here and play because it's the best league in Canada and the Skids are still the best team in Canada. So, I mean, to be honest, it is a huge honor. And I just think, like, it's, it's where I want to be. It's what I want to do with my life, so... <laughs> The New Skids travel to Toronto for Quad City Chaos, an all-Canadian invitational. It's a chance for them to prove their dominance on the national scene. Playing against WUFTA members Kitchener, it's clear that their training pays off. This tournament last year was the real coming out party for the new skids on the block because previous, really, previous to 2010, most of the Canadian teams had been kind of an even footing. And all of a sudden Montreal took this huge leap in skill. It wasn't no longer just hit and skate, hit and skate. And then the tides turned and they started to win. The new skids juggernaut rolls on when they deal out a pounding to Toronto rival CN Power. Day two sees the new skids face off against the Rideau Valley Vixens and Dame of Doom's Derby debut. early on how punishing Derby can be. <laughs> it's a start for the young player, and the captains recognize it. She did awesome. All the rookies did amazing. Looking forward to having them on the team. Like, for good. It feels great to have finally played my first game and, like, to get a taste for it, and now I just want to play more. <laughs> so, it's like a bug. Yeah. Once you're bit, you're in trouble. Yeah. You just want to play all the time. <laughs> As for the rest of the team, they didn't do too badly either. So they're kind of a pinnacle that all the Canadian teams now are trying to reach. We want to try and get to the top, number one. Everyone wants to get to number one. <laughs> as far as I can see, every time they've come to a glass ceiling, they've blown through it and they've seen another ceiling and they're like, all right, let's go to that ceiling too. So um, there really isn't any end in sight for them. They want to go to the top. Um, I think their goal is not to be the best, but they want to be one of the best and they want to be recognized as one of the best because of the way that they train and just how they skate and just their passion for having a great time both on skates and off skates.